Hello everyone and welcome back to Room 2 Total War. Today the DLC came out that includes the Black Sea Colonies. And because of that I can't play any of my regular campaigns because I was a couple of months. So I will show you a replay that I played earlier today. I picked up, I picked Chimeria and uh, I told the opponent to also pick a Black Sea Colony and he picked Massalia. And he went very heavy in uh, Thurio Spears and Thurio Swords, uh, fell tasks, and pretty much had a lot of javelins, which I, for some reason, I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I went with, um, uh, oh, geez, I'm trying to like right click and drag the view. Um, I went to Hoplite. Core for the front. I have five hoplites or hoplites, and I have a total of three Chimera noble infantry. One of them is uh, the general. The other one is over here. Uh, I have two picked pal tests, which uh, they're not as strong as royal pal tests, but they're pretty strong. Um, I brought two citizen cav. Uh, did I say how many pelt tests did I say? I have four of those pelt tests, two on each flank. I have two slingers as well. They're somewhere over there, going forward. I have two citizen cav and two of these step lancers. Uh, they're okay for shock cav. Um, they're just weak and low morale. So my opponent's gonna take a while to come up from there. So I'm gonna fast forward. I go ahead and try to scout my citizen camp, and I see that he's there, and I'm kind of just waiting for a bit uh, to see what happens. And then I noticed he has a um, skirmisher camp there. Anyway, so what he brings is he's got he's got that one skirmisher camp. Uh, I think he brought four of these uh, Mustelian cavalry. Uh, he's got uh, Mustelian thurio spears, which I believe they have a. A little bit different. I think the difference is that they have a bit more attacking power uh, and slightly less defense, like just trade off there. Um, he's he's got, I believe, four of these Torex swordsmen and about six of those uh, Massalian Thurio spears. Um, and he's got a couple of pal tests for skirmishing units, but. You know, I was like, eh, hey, I'm gonna put my uh, slingers out here, try to take some shots, but I don't want them to shoot at the trees, so I'll just turn on, um, uh, you know, fire women later. And I saw his calf there, so I tossed my citizen calf at it, because I thought that's gonna be a good idea to try to weaken them. And he tossed in this Thurio Spears, which lobbed a bunch of javelins. Uh, my my slingers. I tell them to fire a lot a lot of volley, and uh, <laughs> they like took half a volley because I moved them too quick. So that was useless. Um, I was gonna fire at some of his units. Uh, so all right, what's going on now, uh, right now? Not much is going on. I go into hop right wall. My pellets my pellet tests are firing. And he does something that I didn't expect, which is the smart thing to do. Is uh, he tosses javelins from the Thorax Swordsman, then he charges in. He tosses javelins from here. He tosses javelins and charges in. Leaves this guy. Now look at this. Alright. Chimera Noble Infantry. Look at all the javelins they're gonna take. Why are my shadows so stupid? Alright, let's go back to uh, regular uh, speed here for a second. That is a lot of javelins, alright? I didn't even notice that until they were like almost dead. Yeah, that was one of my elite units. So he didn't charge anything there, he just tossed all his javelins from all of these spell tests into it and killed it. I was too busy doing stuff over here, trying to get rid of his little cab. 
I chased uh, his um, skirmisher cav away with some lancers. Uh, yeah, that's not important. It's just, yeah, I can't. I, but here he brings in another Mustelian cab, which is a light cab, uh, but still okay. He brings him in, charges him in, and I didn't really care about this because he's charging the pick pel test, which are sturdy unit, and they're not really gonna take much damage. These were on um, what's it called? Skirmish mode, and that didn't help him because they were just moving around. Uh, and then I end up bringing. I think I lose my uh, citizen cab here. Uh, my general goes in and takes out his cab because he is the noble infantry, which is like a, a beefy. Uh, what's it called? What's the word? Hoplite. Hoplite. He's a beefy hoplite unit. So. This is still going on, he's still tossing javelins from his spears. Um, I'm losing the fight in the front. His general is a Massilian hoplite, hoplite, which is kind of like very similar to what my uh, general is. Maybe his is a bit more sturdy as what was. Uh, we got 90 armor. Break off. I have 80 armor, but I have a bit more attack. Middle defense 60. Middle defense. He just buffed it. That was, that was 57. Okay, so. From here, not much is gonna happen in my favor, but I'll let it play out so you can see uh, until towards the end when something interesting does happen. I bring my lancers out here and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna charge in there, right? Uh, right? No. His. His general was there, and that's a spear unit, and pretty much hacks my step lancers. Pretty quickly once they get a hold of him, you see the numbers drop there. So they just go ahead and um, lose decisively. Um, yeah. This is how it looks like when you're winning. And this is how it looks like when you're losing. Something like this. Can't really see much. And I made a lot of mistakes. I, I just didn't Run, use my pell test correctly. They were like not. They were firing, but not at anything specific. Uh, Lancers got rid of his Massalian calf, which is okay. That's that was expected. I have some citizen calf coming back. My slingers. I totally forget about my slingers. They're just sitting there. I didn't turn on uh, fire at will, and I forgot to tell him what to shoot at. So they're just sitting there, and eventually he's gonna. I'm just gonna fast forward because it's kind of how it should be here. He's gonna move in. You see, he moved in all of those spears and attacked, flanked, and attacked my slingers and everything. And um, yeah, his. His general is fighting one of my Chimerian Noble Infantry and he's doing the right thing to bunch up this, this unit and sort of choke it. I mean, it's... It's choked. Right. There's not much anyone can do to survive that. My guys are the orange guys. Yeah. I bring in a hoplite unit back here to help, and he's he's using his rally quite often, which is which is nice. My general is out here flanking this uh, Thurio spears and Thorax swordsmen. I forget about these hoplites until later. It's just uh, you know, it's just stupid. My slingers are out. They end up coming back. I have a. Uh, Hoplite unit, sorry, a Peltest unit here, then now it's gonna do something, because I totally forgot about them. It's like, it's like I didn't play for a week or something, but I did. I don't know, it's just... Yeah. But, don't worry, something, something changes. 
Um, he bunches up everybody here. Eventually, my um, inventory is gonna break. My my two units there. Uh, these guys are standing still. Pell tests are gonna be a good melee unit to um, fight things. And I've been uh, I've been just using um, intimidate and whatever the other. I think it's called War Cry on uh, on these units of his. And what he's done also is that he's put them in square formation, so they're just gonna last a long, long time. Um, my Chimera Noble Infantry is eventually gonna break here. He goes and, and charges one of his spell tests at my pick spell tests. He thought that was a fair fight, but it's not. It's not a fair fight because my guys are gonna be better than his and uh, in morale and attack weapon damage health um, okay, so let's fast forward a bit more see a couple of his units route a couple of my units route I'm doing something here I'm, I'm charging in my general while uh, taking down his morale, which is not really doing a whole lot to his morale. By your command, but, Form but it's gonna help eventually because it's gonna just keep dropping his morale a bit. Okay, so this was my first uh, attempt with any of the Black Sea colonies. I'm thinking of doing. Um, another campaign once one of my campaigns is over and I could pick one of these factions. They're kind of interesting. They have a good mix of units like um, like Massilia, Marsalia. Uh, they're, you know, getting Celtic warriors in there with, with light horrors and stuff like that alongside Therios swordsmen and, Thor and, and Therios spears and Thorax swordsmen. That's kind of neat. So... Um, at this point, I have my slingers. I think they're firing at somebody here. Orders understood. Mm. Yeah, they're firing at his general. Yes, commander. Same with those guys. Uh, my peltest here are gonna win uh, somehow against. He beat that. I beat back that one pal test he had, and then also these Thurio Spears. And I don't actually know how, but we're just gonna fast forward, because it's... You know, it's just micromanaging dudes here, and my general is... Slowly, I mean, they're exhausted, but they're winning. And, um... He brings his general this way, and I'm like, oh, I'm still shooting at you with slingers. You haven't noticed. Still shooting at US slingers. Yeah, you can do raise banner and, and uh, rally. Advance! But his general charges into my general and he ends up losing his general here, which will drop the morale of the rest of the units he has. And um, then he's gonna just break. He's gonna shatter. Just like that. It was like 10 seconds after he's lost his general. And uh, yeah, yes, Commander. I mean, I intimidate a few other dudes, and as soon as they get hit by something, uh, even though they're winning, um, they're gonna end up they're gonna end up beating this Charge! this big health test. Um, these yes, guys the fought that thirty spears and, and uh, the well, didn't kill it, but I pulled them away. Because I, I said, whoa, whoa me, I'm a win. So I, I brought my units in the same area. I think my shadows have turned down or something. What is happening? Okay, let's go up here where there's no shadows. There's still shadows. Oh, well. So, all the dead people. So I bring my guys up. My slingers are now firing. They still have ammo. Um, they're firing on somebody else. I think they're firing on this guy. Yeah. 
Um, these spears are gonna get countercharged by Hobbitays, and they're gonna break um, in a second. My belt tests are also weakened. And then my general charges this spear unit, and they did not like that at all because they initially were like, okay, good, and then no, I'm losing. Goodbye. So, I was, I was literally thinking of quitting about halfway through when I was like, holy crap, they, he just javeled me to death, like, there's no tomorrow, and then this happened. Like, it's a victory, nonetheless. He did, he did good, um, I should have thought about the tactic that he was going for when I saw all the spears and, and the thorax swords and I mean, there was just javelin heaven for him. Like that, that was the unit that took the beating at first. Yeah. Uh, most kills go to uh, the pick peltasts. Two twenty one and two twenty. They really paid for themselves, even though they're like seven hundred forty a piece. Great unit to have. I brought these guys for range in case something, but. He never, I mean, I, I guess if he would have come over with like a skirmisher cab or something. But he did not. Uh, yeah. Those guys did good. You see a lot of his units, although they... This is the right swordsman. Must have gotten into a bad... Bad engagement. Anyway. Not bad for the Massilian cab. They're... Not that expensive. My step lancers didn't do that well. My citizen calf, crappy. So that is it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure what I learned from this. Maybe to actually avoid javelin fire somehow. Better. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.